Hello, Chris from My Stamp Lady here. I'm so excited to show you how I made this card. I made it with the square framelits and it's super easy to do. So let's get started. Okay, so I have cut a piece of cardstock. This is 11 inches by five inches. And I'm going to take this largest scallop framelit and I'm going to place it, and this is really important, I'm gonna put it on my, my put it on my magnetic platform but it's important to see that I have my top edge this is the fold the folded edge this is the edge that opens and I have plate I'm going to place it so that the fold does not get cut so I have just this top edge of my framelit off the fold and then the rest of it is going the other three sides will cut okay let's place the top on and run it through the big shot after I remove the excess, I end up with a piece that looks like this. It's scalloped on three of the sides and the folded edge is still intact. And this is going to be the base for my card. Next I took, um, you can emboss the entire card front if you want. I did just emboss like the uh, about up to the four scallops. And I'm using this upside down because I want my embossing to be raised. Okay, so we're just placing that kind of centered along the bottom four of the scallops, and then I have the rest of it hanging out so I don't emboss that part, and I'm gonna run this through the Big Shot. So when you pull that out of the Big Shot, you'll see I have embossed just this bottom portion. There's a little line here, but I'm gonna be covering that up, so I'm not worried about that. So my next step, in my little box that I use to um, catch my overspray, I'm using the vanilla smooch spritz, and I'm going to spritz the entire front of my card. Okay, I need to give that some time to dry. So I'm going to set this aside while we work on the other parts and let this part dry. Okay, I want this image from the Daydream Medallions inked and stamped in Old Olive. This little bit larger image in Blackberry Bliss. This Blackberry Bliss is just an amazing color. Then from the Daydream Medallions, I'm going to take the coordinating framelits, line them up, and I'll run those through them. To do the sentiment, I used a stamp set called Endless Birthday Wishes, and what I'm finding is with this, it is endless. Even without the birthday cake or using the birthday sentiments, you can stamp a lot of different sayings. So I'm going to start with, and I'm doing this in Blackberry Bliss, the great, and my goal is to write, have a great day. So let's stamp the grate. And because it's photopolymer, it's really nice and easy to see through. So it works better if you, I'm gonna stamp the have a right above and it works better sometimes, especially with these smaller images, if you have this um, pad underneath. And let's pull in the word day. And there's my sentence or my sentiment. I'm going to use this banner from the Banners Framelits to cut that out. Okay, so now I'm going to take, and I'm just going to give a little bit of a curl to the edges of my medallion pieces. Just give it a little bit of dimension or depth and repeat that with all of these pieces. I'm going to add dimensionals between the two white flowers and the blue one on the back. Okay, let's set a button from the Brights collection in the center. Then I've already taken a whisper white piece that I've run through the Big Shot with the Modern Mosaic folder and I've matted it, this is the folder I used, and I matted it onto a soft sky piece and now I'm going to place my sentiment I've taken, I've already cut out one of the um, banners in Blackberry Bliss that's a little bit larger than my sentiment. So let's just place that right on the edge here. Sometimes you get little fine pieces of, um, little narrow pieces of paper left from the frame. Let's just kind of brush that off like that. Okay, let's place our banner towards the bottom and it's gonna line up right with the edge of my piece there. And then I'm going to take uh, mini glue dots and I'm placing mini glue dots on the back side of my blue flower. There we go. 
and then I can just place that down like that. And now I'm going to go see if my background piece is dry and we'll get the next step done. Okay, so my background is done. The, the, um, the, smith, the spritzing has dried. I've added some adhesive to the back of my focal piece here and I'm just going to place that down on the left side. There we go. And let's take and open up my card and I'm going to put down a 4x4 four four piece of Whisper White cardstock for writing on. There we go. And my last step is just to take a piece uh, length of the Blackberry Bliss stitched ribbon, satin ribbon here, and let's just tie it in a knot up on the side a bit more. There we go. We're just going to do a quick knot here. And there you go. You have a card to send to somebody to wish them a great day. If you have any questions on how I use this square framelit to make this card, don't hesitate to contact me, Chris, at MyStampLady.com. You can find all the supplies for this card in my online store. Have a great day.